Donald Johnson & Johnson Baby Powder Trump. The ex-president most likely to be a surprise judge at a wet t-shirt contest. Yesterday, the government office that keeps presidential records asked the Justice Department to investigate Trump's improper handling of official documents. And, like, at this point, I'm wondering if there are any laws that Trump hasn't broken, you know? Like, if, if there was a Guinness Book of World Records for crime, he'd probably steal the book. But, yeah, according to reports, Trump would rip up papers after he read them, right? He took boxes of material with him to Mar-a-Lago, and now we're learning that Trump did the most Trump thing that he possibly could have done with some of these documents. We're beginning with breaking news. Staff members at the White House residence discovered wads of printed paper in a clogged toilet on more than one occasion during the Trump administration and believe that it was the former president himself who was trying to flush documents. I learned that staff in the White House residence would periodically find the, the toilet clogged. The engineer would have to come and, and fix it. And what the engineer would find would be wads of, you know, clumped up print, wet printed paper, um, you know, meaning it was not toilet paper. It could be post-its. It could be notes he wrote to himself. It could be other things. We don't know, but it certainly does add, as you said, another dimension to what we know about how he handled material in the White House. You know, it's so funny how in every scandal involving Trump and documents, none of them involve him reading them. <laughs> and, 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 and by the way, I will say this. I know it's easy for us to all go, Trump was trying to obstruct justice. That's what this was. But you do remember at the start of the pandemic, there was a shortage of what? And I don't know about you guys, but when there's no toilet paper, state documents start to look mighty tempting. It also does explain why Trump was always complaining about toilets. You, always, you remember how he always did that? People are flushing toilets 10 times, 15 times, as opposed to once. They end up using more water. Yeah, they're flushing it 10 times, 15 times. No, dude, you were flushing toilets 10 times, 15 times, because you were shoving your homework down the toilet. I mean, everyone assumed he was a man who clogged the White House toilets, but no one ever thought we'd have to ask the question, but with what? Now, of course, Trump denies all of this. He says he never clogged any toilets ever. Smoothest poo of all time. So the big question is, who's telling the truth? Well, luckily, we have an exclusive interview with the only man who knows what the truth is. So we're gonna go out live right now to the White House to chat to that man. Sir, I understand that you are the official White House plumber. Hey, that's right. It's a me, Carl Schwartz. How you doing? Uh, well, doing well. Thank you no. so much for joining us, Mr. Schwartz. Uh -huh. um, as the White House plumber, we'd love for you to tell us everything you know about Trump flushing documents down the toilets. All right, let me stop you right there, Chief, okay? Sorry to disappoint you, but I can't. It's the plumber's code. The plumber's code? That's right. It's the iron code all plumbers live by. One, never tell a toilet secrets. Two, always round up the bill. Three, no visible butt crack. I'm trying to break that stereotype. So I'm sorry, but I can't reveal what I know about Trump's toilet no matter what. Oh, come on. 